Hi, this is Casey Londrigan from Haverford College, and this video is to tell you a little bit about my research, which has generally been in the area of site-specific vibrational spectroscopy in proteins. Proteins are long, stringy molecules that either fold over onto each other or don't fold over onto each other, and then have very specific jobs that they have evolved to do. So here's a folded protein, and here is an unfolded protein. As we learn more and more about proteins, we realize that some of the most important things that they do are to interact with other proteins or other things inside cells. And uh, something in particular that we're really interested in is how small pieces of these proteins change their environment or their conformation as they stick to different kinds of things. So for example, in this protein, we might be interested in this site, and in this protein, we might be interested in this specific little spot right here. And so that's the site-specific part of this, is that we're interested in looking at little pieces of larger, complicated systems. The vibrational spectroscopy part is looking at how atoms vibrate inside molecules. Say we have two atoms connected by a chemical bond. So here's two atoms with a bond between them. These bonds can act like springs, and they will vibrate at specific frequencies. If we put these atoms with this kind of a bond into a couple of different environments, say water or oil, then the frequencies that the atoms vibrate at will be different. And we will see two different signals using light to interact with these atoms in two different environments. So if we take these atoms that respond differently to different kinds of environments and we put them in the middle of proteins, as these proteins change their shape, these atoms end up in different environments and we will see changes in the spectrum. If we look at the inside of proteins, like in this example over here, we can learn things about chemistry that happens inside proteins. And one thing that we've been learning about recently is how bacteria make complex molecules using proteins like this that interact with lots of, with lots of different other proteins. If we look at proteins like this that tend not to fold but bind to lots of different things, these proteins tend to be associated with diseases. And we have looked at proteins associated with viral diseases and neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's disease. And another thing that I've been involved in more recently at Haverford College is making videos like this. Actually, all of my classes at this point now, especially my physical chemistry classes, are taught in the way that you're seeing, using videos that are posted online before class instead of lectures, and then we talk about problems and do problems together in class. I hope that this has helped you to understand a little bit about my research into site-specific vibrational spectroscopy and proteins, and I hope that you liked the video. Uh, we'd love to have you as a student at Haverford if you'd like to go back to school.